That is what the Greeks called it thousands of years ago. They said it was a place where the spirits of heroes dwelled in a happiness unknown to the rest of the earth. A place where only hero spirits could enter. And they did so without dying, because they carried the secret of life with them. Such were they. Renowned for the beauty of their persons and for the virtues of their souls. And of all men who lived in those days, they were the most illustrious. Inhabitants of a lost paradise. A near perfect world that many of us, deep down, hope someday to find. Gnosis, Captu, Thera, Tantalis. Many names, many dreams, but only one. obedient to the laws. They despised everything but virtue and thought little of the possession of gold. 
for their wealth did not deprive them of their self-control. They saw clearly that all their worldly goods would be increased by virtue, honor, and friendship with one another. of the kinsmen began to fade away and became diluted. They appeared glorious and blessed at the very time when they were full of avarice and unrighteous power. Zeus, god of gods, who rules according to law and is able to see into such things, collected all the gods into their most holy place. And when they had gathered together, Zeus spake, and so it began. Atlantis and its people swallowed by the sea. 